Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to today's video, doing a five day forecast today, having a detailed look at the weather for the next five days across the British Isles. Uh, before I go on with the video, I just want to talk about the advertising, there will usually be a video ad overlaying my web videos at gadsweatherbiz.com. Please play us the ads, you'll be supporting gadsweatherbiz.com if you do that. And of course the advertiser wants you to uh, see what they're advertising as well, so uh, they want you to play the ad also. Uh, just want to talk about the uh, websites I'm going to be charts from as well, we're using Met Office radar picture here and um, there's going to be charts from weatheroutlook.com and from wetcentral.de you can find all three of those websites on my links page so this is the uh, radar picture currently uh, across the British Isles. We've got uh, quite a bit of showery rain here in the west of the, the country and in the north as well. And we are going to be seeing those uh, showery bits of quite heavy rain uh, moving into in across Scotland, much of northern England, much of Wales, uh, southwestern parts of England as well. There will be a drier slot through much of uh, northeast England, the Midlands, East Anglia, Lincolnshire. And then we've got these heavy showers coming into uh, southeast England. That's taking us a bit by surprise actually. That could bring some uh, quite Quite heavy showers in towards South East England, maybe getting up into uh, parts of East Anglia as well. If we run through the uh, radar picture, we can see how those showers in the South East have uh, moved northwards. Um, so that, we're getting towards London now, actually. We could well see some showers down there uh, for the Olympics uh, through the course of this afternoon. So going on to the charts, and this is uh, the pressure chart for today. We've got low pressure out to the west country, very deep autumnal uh, area of low pressure to the west of the country, 985 millibars. That's very, very deep uh, for August. Um, and that uh, low pressure is the driving force of the weather today. It will be the driving force of the weather for the next five days. The jet stream is going quite sluggish, so there's nothing really to push that low pressure through. So it's just going to uh, meander around the country for the next five days, uh, giving us showers on most days. Now, the distribution of those showers will change day by day, so I can't be too detailed uh, in this forecast about the dis distribution of those showers. But... Uh, but they will be there will be showers uh, every day over the next five days so for the situation for today as we've already seen we've got the showery rain coming into the west and that showery rain will gradually move eastwards and north uh, through the course of the day giving quite a bit of rain to scotland northern England, wales southwest England as well we've got the showers coming into the southeast and then a drier slot through the midlands and parts of northeastern uh, england temperatures could get up to around 24 25 degrees at the outside in the southeast at 77 Fahrenheit, quite warm and humid uh, in the southeast but generally we're looking at temperatures of around 19 20 21 it is quite warm um, but there's a lot of clouds so we don't really realize the uh, potential uh, in the temperatures uh, today now going into tonight we're going to find many of those showery bits of rain dying away the uh, rain will probably keep going across central northern scotland though so a wet night up there but elsewhere the rain should gradually ease off uh, through the night rather a lot of cloud across the country tonight and certainly a uh, quite a mild night with temperatures around 8 in the north to around uh, 14 in the south but it'll gradually start to turn fresher uh, from the northwest as we go through the night now into Thursday, we've got this low pressure sitting still to the west of the country, feeding in these showery southwesterly winds. I think probably more and more showers for England and Wales tomorrow. It could be quite um, quite heavy showers across England and Wales. Uh, those showers may well have some hail and thunder mixed in. Maybe less in the way of showers for Scotland and North Rhine, but there will still be uh, showers up there as well. Temperatures tomorrow, probably around 22, 23 degrees. 23 is 73 Fahrenheit, so it's a little bit down on today, but it's about average, really, uh, for the start of August. For Friday, that low pressure is still there across Ireland, so again, we're looking at another showery day. And the distribution of the showers is probably somewhat different on Friday to uh, Thursday. The showers may be more across uh, these western parts of the country on Friday, with east areas getting the best of the driest and brightest weather. Difficult to be specific about about this um, but uh, the showers will still be around just they changing their distribution day by day temperatures on uh, Friday probably up to around 21 22 degrees 22 is 72 again it's about around the average for the time of year and then that low pressure is gradually slipping across the country as we go into saturday um winds becoming very light here so any showers that do form there will be a lot of showers uh, uh, they could, will be slow moving so there's the potential for some very uh, torrential downpours slow moving downpours giving uh, perhaps flash flooding 
in some places on Saturday. So Saturday, again, it's a case of sunshine and showers, and the showers may be this time more focused again across England and Wales, but it's very difficult to give uh, exact detail on where those showers will be. Um, but certainly there's the risk of showers pretty much across the whole of the country on Saturday. And I say those showers slow moving, heavy, thundery, will be some thunderstorms around as well. Um, with light winds, there is the potential there uh, for uh, the risk of localised flooding. Temperatures coming down a little bit as well by uh, Saturday, so maybe just 20, 21 degrees up to the best. That's uh, around 68, 70 Fahrenheit, a bit below where we should be uh, for the start of August. And then going into uh, Sunday, that low pressure is really sitting over the top of the country now. Uh, so again it's sunshine and showers and again it's very difficult to say where those showers are specifically but all areas have a risk of showers and the distribution changes day by day but to all, certainly all areas have a risk at least of heavy slow moving showers, thundery showers, thunderstorms as well with risk of hail and flash flooding in some places. Of course as ever with showers some places will miss them, stay dry and have a fine day and it won't be too bad at all but if you get those showers you will know about it, they will be heavy and slow moving temperatures around 19, 20, uh, 21 at the best, 21 is 70 Fahrenheit. And then finally going into Monday that low pressure is now beginning to show signs of moving away uh, to the east, but it's still close to us to give us one more uh, very showery day on Monday. Monday, again, risk of heavy showers. This time, perhaps the showers more focused to the east as that low pressure is pushing away to the east. So again, we do have showers, slow moving showers, uh, could be longer spells of rain as well uh, because those showers will be prolonged uh, heavy with the risk of thunder and hail mixed in and this low pressure out to the west of the country is quite interesting does that come in across the country or does it stall in the Atlantic and we build a ridge it's very difficult to say what's going to happen now next week uh, yesterday I did a video saying that the weather will be uh, unsettled and cool towards the middle of August that's not quite so certain this morning that this low pressure exactly what it's going to do is is quite uncertain so I'll keep you updated on the weather for next week over the next day or so. Uh, finally have a look at the charts from weatheroutlook.com and this is situated today we've got the rain in the west mainly dry in the east it's quite warm in the southeast where we do have those uh, showers coming into uh, southeastern parts of the country. I mean, running through these charts, well, every day is uh, very, uh, very similar, really, but uh, the distribution of the showers is changing, as I say. So, uh, for Thursday, it's showery across England and Wales, perhaps, with morning wave, drier weather up in the north, though still at risk of showers up there. Uh, sunshine and showers for Friday, uh, sunshine and showers for Saturday, and as I say, the shower distribution is changing every day. And then uh, showers, or maybe even some longer spells of rain here on Sunday, the rain will be, the showers will be slow moving so that does give the potential for longer spells of rain and showers still going into Monday as well those temperatures no better than average and actually uh, starting to edge down as we go through the period um, so that's really sums it up it's going to be a showery uh, five days coming up there is going to be showers or longer spells of rain across all parts of the country every day over the next five days temperatures no better than average that's it for now thanks for watching